Well, jurors heard an earful. Jake Wagner was pretty talkative on the stand. When he gave answers, he really didn't hesitate, and a lot of his answers were very descriptive. I can tell you he was polite, answering questions, yes, sir, no, sir. If you didn't know what he did and what he admitted to doing, I would say he came across as likable. When asked if he was a cold-blooded killer, Jake Wagner said yes. A liar? Jake said he was. The defense trying to paint Jake as the evil sibling as he testified against his brother, George Wagner IV. A criminal since childhood. Jake told jurors when he was 10 or 11 years old, his father, Billy Wagner, taught him how to pick locks, then showed him how to break into vending machines and eventually steal cattle, vehicles, and fuel from semis. Defense attorney John Parker also questioned Jake about his mother, Angela Wagner. Your mother would burn down houses for money. I mean, yes, Jake answered. He said one time the family built a big, nice house using materials that were stolen. Jake also said his mother would breed dogs and sell them as purebreds when they were not. Aside from living a life filled with crime, defense attorneys got Jake to admit he has memory problems. I would say my memory is kind of like a jigsaw puzzle with too many pieces, Jake said. He said sometimes he remembers something that didn't happen and vice versa. When it comes to April 21st, 2016, the night eight members of the Rodin family were murdered, Jake said he's been slightly successful in wiping his memory, but the defense got him to admit George wasn't supposed to go. He didn't want this to happen, Parker asked. Jake said, that's correct. Parker, he went along at the last second to protect you. Jake said yes. Jake testified his brother George did not fire a shot. As part of Jake Wagner's plea deal, prosecutors agreed to take the death penalty off the table for his entire family if he testified against his brother George. In Waverly, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.